the establishment narrative is that the sun has very little to do with it. How much of a factor does the sun play? Obviously, a lot. It heats us up, but like yeah. the changing. Of... I, you know, that's something there's argument about. Uh, I think, you know, for instance, uh, a man called Milankovitch in around 1940 made a convincing argument, and I think now it's correct, that orbital variations created a change in insulation, incoming sunlight, in the Arctic in summer, and that controlled the ice ages. Mm. And the, the thinking was pretty simple. Uh, he was saying that, uh, you know, every winter is cold. Every winter has snow. But what the temperature or the insulation or the sunlight in the summer is determines whether that snow melts or not before the next cycle. And if you're at a point where it doesn't melt, you build a glacier. Mm. Takes thousands of years, but you know eventually it's big. But uh, you asked about the sun, and as Dick says, that uh, is a controversial issue. The establishment narrative is that the sun has very little to do with it. It's all CO2. CO2 is the control knob. Don't confuse me with other possibilities. But nobody is, is quite sure about the sun.